What's going on guys, Sean Guts here back with another video. Today I have a Barber travel bag I'm gonna show you guys. I just got it in. My man from Barbaric Style reached out, said he just came up with a new bag, the Barbaric Assault Pack, or BAP for short, and it's a Barber travel bag based off of a military bag. He wanted to send me one to do an unboxing and show you guys. So I got it right here in the bag, guys. I have not even taken a glance at it yet. I gotta be honest, sometimes when I do unboxings, I will go ahead and open things up and charge them and things like that, just to be prepared. But guys, I left this in the bag. It's actually been here for about two weeks. I've been waiting to get to it. It's after the holidays, so let's open this thing up and see what it's all about. All right, so we got a nice little resealable bag. So first off guys, we got some stickers. There is a shiny reflective barbaric style sticker. And then these are patches guys that, oh, that is a clipper with some fire behind it. And we got a barber pole. So I believe it does have a place to put some patches and these are Velcro. So we'll check that out in a second. Comes with this little flyer. Thank you for choosing barbaric style. We are a first responder and barber founded small business. Barbaric style is built on three core values. Fight the good battle that is daily life, perfect your craft, and stand up for what you believe in. I can get behind that. We're grateful to be a part of your daily fight by equipping you with the best products out there to be battle ready. Your feedback helps us grow. We would greatly appreciate a follow, share, and honest feedback so that we can continuously improve our products and customer service. Thank you and stay battle ready. From owner Ethan Dre. Appreciate it, Ethan. We're gonna check this thing out, guys. You know on my channel I like to give honest reviews you guys know I got two GMB Pro bags, which is kind of the big name brand bag that's out right now. But I'm looking forward to checking this thing out and seeing how it measures up. All right guys, so there it is. BAP Barber Assault Pack, I guess BAP for short. You guys see we got a lot of straps and Velcros in the front and some slits right here to put things in. Obviously guys, we're not gonna leave like our shears and things on the outside of the bag. But I guess if you had some things you wanted to clip on the outside, different things like that, you could. Um, like I said, this is based off of a military backpack. And honestly, guys, I don't really know what all goes on the outside of a military bag, but the idea is that you can attach different things. I actually think for military bags, they make add-on pockets that you can attach to the outside and add some extra grip or like a, like a knife sheath you can clip onto this and then have it on the outside. So I guess you could do that with this, but let's open up these pouches and see what else is in here. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down here so we can set this down and check it out. All right, guys, so here is the bat bag. Let's go ahead and open up this first pocket on the front. Basically just a big pocket here, guys. Nothing special, no pouches or anything, but big large pocket on the front. I do like the feel of all the um, zippers and the pull cords. Another small pocket on the front side right here, you guys can see. Again, guys, it's up to you when you pack your travel bag. You can put whatever you want, wherever you want. We got a little drawstring, uh, cup holder, water bottle holder, spray bottle holder on the side. And we got one on the other side as well. We'll go ahead and go back to this next pocket. Okay, so this is the whole bag. We're gonna have to unclip these so that we can pull that out. All right guys, so there is the front of the bag. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just load it up with some stuff and see what we can get. So these look like sheer pockets or could be sheer pockets. Obviously you could put those elsewhere. I don't know if you guys can see the very bottom down here but we can put them down here as well. So there's a little shear pocket. It's about to fall out. Now these look like spots for clippers, so we're gonna go ahead and slide that in, pull this bottom pouch out. So there's one clipper. The skeleton's grippy, that's kinda hard to get in there. All right, we're gonna leave it right there. You guys get the point. All right, so we got three of our clippers in there. We'll go ahead and just throw our shears up here just for fun. Go ahead and leave them up there. This pouch up here is a little bit bigger, so we'll go ahead, we can throw our shavers in there. So there you go, guys, that is the top pack. I'm not gonna go pack this bottom. If you guys can see the bottom down here, we do have some Shear spots and a couple big pouches here, but because of the way it's sitting in the chair, I don't want it to fall out. So we're gonna go ahead and check out this next pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff out just so it doesn't fall out and we'll check out the other pocket. 
All right, guys, so the back pocket, we have a large space, possibly for a laptop. I actually think in the notes he wrote that this is padded so you can take your mirror with you. So you can put your mirror down in here. It is padded on both sides that you don't break your mirror. In the front, we have some mesh pockets here, guys. Plenty of room for whatever else you want to take. Uh, compressor, blow dryer, different things like that would definitely fit in this middle section. So other than that, guys, super nice, heavy-duty, quality, uh, padded arm uh, shoulder straps, whatever you want to call these. I did read on the website, guys, definitely these are extra padded so that when the bag is full, it is comfortable to carry. And you guys see there's a lot of room in this thing to pack it however you feel the need. And again, like I said, you can add on some things on the front. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Yeah, so this, this does come off and we can add our patches to the front. All right guys, so that is the Bat Barber Assault Pack from Barbaric Style. If you guys wanna check it out, go to barbaricstyle.com or Barbaric Style on Instagram. Guys, it runs 130 right now. I believe it is marked down from 150 to 130. So my final thoughts on the bag, guys, honestly, it is much more affordable than, say, the GMB Pro, which are 200 plus. Uh, you guys know I do have a couple of those. I will say I do love my GMB Pro bags, but I haven't really told you guys this. Whenever I do travel with it, I actually put it in a suitcase and check the bag at the airport because it is such a big bulky bag. It does carry a lot and it has some pretty cool compartments for fitting your clippers and things like that a little more accurately, but it is a huge bag and it's heavy. It really hurts my back when I carry it through the airport. So I do actually put that in a suitcase. And what I can see this being is a much smaller, easier to carry travel bag. Like I said, it does have the padded straps. You guys don't have to load up everything you take. Just load up a little house call kit. You guys can fit it in here. Perfectly fine, easy, throw it on your back and carry it around more or less like a normal backpack. Like I said, guys, the GMB Pro is huge. It sticks off like eight inches behind you where this really to me looks like it would end up being more like a regular backpack. So I definitely can appreciate that. And definitely on some of my lighter trips when I just need to take things, I can see myself using this much easier to get around and not as much trouble and bulky to carry around. So like I said, guys, if you want to check this out, head over to barbaricstyle.com and check out the Barbara Soap Pack, guys. It is 130 bucks. Go check them out on Instagram at Barbaric Style. And if you guys like this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Barbara Soap Pack. Make sure you guys subscribe. I have some more unboxings coming soon. I got a knockoff Dyson that we're going to check out and see how it compares. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, I'll catch you next time.